Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, this evening, I'm in Bruno Dunes State Park, just outside of Mountain Home, Idaho. <laughs> Well, the last video, you saw me go to Nampa and pick up this uh, XL 250 Honda. It's like, oh, it's like new. It's like new. And uh, went back in the mountain home because I knew I had a good place to camp there at the, uh, at the mechanic shop. It's sort of like my second home. I got JD's home and I got the, I got the uh, mechanic shop there. But um, when I parked there, JD called me up and uh, he said, well, we're just right down the road camping from you. I said, really? So 18 miles later, here I am. Get that fishy, fishy, fishy. Get that fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> this is JD's. E350 Class C, he's been working on. He uh, he just put a, a, a transmission in it. It's okay. He just put a transmission in it and put on some tunier front tires. Got the air conditioning going on it. So him and Lisa are out uh, doing a little camping. He invited me to uh, come and do a little camping with them. Uh-oh. They're getting company. Man, I want to go. Yeah, but you're on a leash. Sparky get his feelings hurt. What's going on? Who just went in my house? I'm gonna bite somebody. <laughs> so JD's having a few electrical issues with his RV and left all his tools at home. Didn't you, JD? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> he left all his tools. Um, who, who, uh, who's somebody that you know? That might have some tools in their RV. Uh, don't want to talk about it. <laughs> he said he had a pair of pliers. <laughs> he's a, he's a MacGyver, but he's not that good a MacGyver. This man this man's helpless without his tools. So my little uh, five dollar set from uh, Walmart and my five dollar set from uh, AutoZone of wrenches. Uh, yeah, it uh, it's helping him out. I, I shouldn't give him too hard a time because you know I've been. Uh, using all his tools and expertise but it kind of feels good kind of feels good I, I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie about it he's done a lot to help me and uh, so I, I like helping him just of course I owe him, I owe him 10,000 times more I shouldn't make such a big deal out of it but I thought it was funny so what did y'all do to get run out of the house Martini and baby May Mays Lisa put y'all out the door come on y'all get in the truck Come on. Y'all must have done something bad. Come on. Come on. I don't want to go in there. You going. I'm going to spin you around. Gosh, I think the name of this place is Eagle Cove Campground. It's one down from Broken Wheel. We're closer to the dunes. Tucker, is the camera on? Yeah, Tuck, the camera's on. Did you see the picture the other day I took when they were all looking out the back window? How muscular he is in his shoulders? Look at that picture. Looks like he's been working out. But um, they pulled forward, and I pulled in opposite so our doors would match up. I think this is Eagle Cove. And with power, it was 33 or 34. Look at the sunset we got going on. You know, I like... I think Arizona's got the prettiest sunsets, but every now and then Idaho will throw one out. Bunch of tent campers. And they got um, water and dump right up the road, trash. I'm gonna hit that shower tonight too, JD. Hold on, let's, let's see what we got. I got a friend that sent me uh, some spices, some rubs, Here's a picture of it right here. 
they want me to try out. Have you ever tried this uh, spice before? But uh, anyway, he's already got his spice on these. Ooh. How'd you know to get three steaks, JD? Yeah, just you know, instinct. We keep running, we keep <laughs> running into one another. My air conditioner's never gonna let me leave. I'll tell you what, snow might be leave. Mm -mm. That's what I'm talking about. I think I'm in a resident if it didn't snow. I think we could make you a permanent resident if it didn't <laughs> snow. Yeah, Mike could. I like it here a lot. I was coming out here and it got kind of, I got away from the trees and it kind of turned to like wasteland out here. And I hit the bugs. Look at that. Just ate up with bugs. This windshield was clean earlier today. Hey, baby May May. <laughs> this rack come with my uh, new motorcycle. Me and JD, we've tried it on every which way. The only way that it works, the only way it fits, it covers half the seat. So I guess that's how we haul game out of the woods. Not that I've, there's a drop of dirt or sand or mud on this thing. But uh, I'm not going to put it on the bike. The owner, this is a one owner bike. He built this right here. This plastic, very nicely done. I also noticed he's brought the turn signals that were out here. He's got them protected. I also got a place for a shovel. I put my shovel on. I don't know if it goes this way or the other way, but it's on. So, yeah. Showed JD, he couldn't believe it. He said, no way that could be a 1993 motorcycle. I said it is. 1,800 miles. Man, that's pretty. I'm so proud of it, I can't stand it. Hey, pretty nice. Bathrooms, showers. Looky, looky. That works. Well, I don't have any firewood with me, and JD don't have any either. He said, "Boy, I wish we could, wish we had some firewood." I've gone to every, <laughs> I've gone to every empty campsite, and everybody burned it all up. Didn't leave any. Usually, if you look hard enough, you can at least find one, one piece of wood. We may have to burn my charcoal. No luck, JD. Everybody's done took it with them or burned it up. I'm afraid to leave the babies out. They're too little. JD, I think I did it. Ooh, look at there. <laughs> it, it's, it's not real wood, but it'll be a real fire. Fine mountain. <laughs> I've looked in every fire pit. I've looked in 20 fire pits. There's not even like a piece of paper. We're having a fire tonight. <laughs> it always comes in real handy to camp with smokers. <laughs> you don't have to go in and get your own. You don't have to go in and get your own lighter or your own match. Because I could light the bag. You know, air conditioning won't matter here soon. You say cold weather's coming in here next week? Yeah, it's over here. I'd like to get a little fireplace, a little cubic fireplace and put in there behind that passenger seat behind that on that window right there of course I may have enough battery power to run that heat pump most of the time if I get the mini split going the gas cut off on the stakes it might be a minute we hook it up to a 20 pound cylinder if we need to I got all the adapters Oh, what you doing, JD? Man, I'm cooking steak. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think they're done. I guess dinner time, Kevin. Don't, don't move that light. It's just too, 
This is too good to not share. Smell a vision. Mm. Do that again. <laughs> Smell a vision. <laughs> mm. We do it in style. For all the vegetarians out there, you might should look away. <laughs> JD's got the propane furnace. <laughs> JD's got the propane uh, lantern going. Miss Lisa has fixed us salads. And mashed potatoes and gravy it's in there I promise there, there they are scallop potatoes something well that's your salad mm -mm. cheese ranch look at these steaks that's a big old thing of ranch dressing right there well getting all of them done on my salad now He's hitting the fire with it. We're going to die. <laughs> Let me at least get some of my steak first. <laughs> well, I wish you guys were here, but I'm glad you're not. <laughs> get up. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Whoa. Yeah. Some people... Now, some people think it's sacrilegious to put barbecue sauce on steak, but... That's because you've never had this before. Sriracha and roasted garlic. It's organic. You get it at Albertsons. Mmm. -mm. Mmm. -mm. Hey, so, hey, don't be holding out on that, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See the. They, they kind of hit it hard with all the garlic. Look at all that. Mm. JD, what do you think of that barbecue sauce? Mm. That is tasty. Mm -hmm. Steak and potatoes and salad. Mm. No filming, more eating. <laughs> Had a good meal. It's not a big fire, but we got a fire. Beats no fire, JD. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I think that's my last fire log. Still hear kids playing on their bicycles riding through. Cool. The cool breeze is starting to come in. Feels nice. Feels like somebody just turned on the air conditioning. Okay, babies. No, we didn't drop any steak on the ground, I promise. Are you sure? I'm real sure, Tuck. Y'all stay close. Stay real close. <clears throat> Martini, what are you doing? I'm looking at, I, I hear something. Okay. You know, it's kind of cute when you was a baby, when you was a puppy sitting on my shoulder. She's the only one that gets on my shoulder because I let her do it for so long. Yeah. You can sit there, baby. Good martinis. Good baby. We had fun at that campsite. JD and Lisa and the wolf pack and Sparky, we're all gonna find us a new place to camp. Some beautiful but strange looking country here. We are down below the CJ Strike Dam. We stopped at the place I had camped earlier. JD said, hey, let's see if we can find something even better. Look at this campground right here. You just pull out on the grass anywhere you want. Good fishing right here behind the dam. Well, I'd never seen this campground back over here. Huh. Bunch of people fishing. Put up here. Look at the guy's pole. Sucker's 12 foot long. 
Must be some big old fish in there. I've never seen a campground like that. You just pull out on that pretty grass anywhere you want. Better catch up with them. They say there's sturgeon in here over 10 foot long. JD called them dinosaur fish. North Park boat launch camping. Well, it sure is pretty. It sure is. Is this where we're going to camp? I think so, baby maymays. People think I say baby mayonnaise. <laughs> I don't. Baby maymay. Baby maymays. That's my name. JD said there was some really good fishing here. I don't know the cost yet. So we got the campsite here. We're all set up side by side. JD, I was giving you a hard time by not having any tools. You know what in the case. I feel real guilty about picking on you so hard, seeing all you've done for me. But you do have a emergency roadside tool kit yeah you know just a jippo kit but it beats beats nothing it beats the dummy that left his tools at home <laughs> took my blanket and covered up my bike and keep the sun off of it until i can get a cover jay had one of his friends come by to visit he's on a suzuki dl650 we just had a great day hanging around the camp most of the RVs here on the water have pulled out. Winds got up a little bit. Aren't these pretty campsites? This is run by Idaho Power. These campsites are $10 a piece. Gosh, I think this video has run long too. We've been at two campsites, two campgrounds now. You see why I'm finding it so hard to leave this place? I keep trying, I promise. Okay, before we have an hour long video, I'm going to end this one right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. For all the vegetarians out there, you might should look away.